Welcome back, everyone. I had the privilege over the last week to speak with retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel David Trombley. He spoke with Channel 3 in years past on his last flight as a Marine pilot, but now he's telling a deeper story. From Marine fighter pilot and almost three decades of service to father of six, Lieutenant Colonel David Trombley has lived an extraordinary life and much in part to his unique battle with a rare form of cancer. Because it was a fight you fought on every front. It was, you know, not just uh, in your body. It was a battle in your mind, um, and it was a battle in your soul. There's the spiritual aspect to it, there's the physical. What started as a toothache after recently returning from an overseas deployment nearly 20 years ago quickly turned into a diagnosis of a rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This rare case moved his success rate from 70 to 20 percent, and his eventual path to recovery didn't come without hesitation. After considering their options, Trombley and his wife Megan put their medical research on hold and turn to what they know best, their faith. A costly decision, Trombley says, he's gladly worked off. If we beat this, I got the rest of my life to pay it off. Very quickly, I would say within, within just a couple of weeks, doors started to open and we just put it before God and said, Lord, if there's a way, show us. The Lieutenant Colonel beat cancer as a flight instructor in Pensacola before he and his family moved to Newport, Rhode Island for four years with the Marines. Trombley would also go on to serve as a Marine reservist. God, give us peace and give us that faith. And I think the healing that we received through this journey is, is, is certainly a gift. I think that the faith that we had to be able to navigate that valley was as much of a gift. Now Lieutenant Colonel Trombley is spreading hope to readers around the world. Grounded and Cured, an inspirational story that Trombley hopes serves as a witness to not only veterans such as himself, but anyone struggling to fight the good fight. This book is designed to inspire and encourage others who are walking through a valley. While there are tools there for fellow cancer warriors, the book is written in such a way that it will encourage the individual who's currently going through a really difficult time to be able to encourage them that yeah. they can have the same peace and hope that Megan and I and our children experienced in the valley as they walk through their challenging times. Inside, there are chapters devoted to challenges Trombley and his family faced, from raw diets to clinical treatments in Switzerland, all of which the lieutenant colonel says was a part of their walk through the valley before eventually becoming cancer free. So there are a lot of people out there who are like, nobody could know what I'm going through. And so we try to paint that picture to say, no, we've been there. We, we've been there, we've done that. And on the darkest day, God showed up and this is, this is how he reached out to us. <laughs> 